So today we're going to take a look at the heart and how blood actually flows through all of the structures and chambers that we see in front of us. So the heart is kind of unique because when we think about the heart, we always think about a left and a right side. And we're used to having our left side on one side and the right side on the other. But in the case of the heart, it's actually as if we're looking in the mirror. So what we would usually consider our left side is now our right side. And what we would consider our right side of the heart is actually our left side. So this side is actually our right side. And this side is actually the left side. Blood of the enters heart. the heart through the right side. And so when blood comes back to the heart, it's actually deoxygenated. In other words, it does not have a lot of oxygen content. So we are going to use the color blue to represent deoxygenated blood. So the first part of our heart is what we call the vena cava. The first one is what we call the superior vena cava. This allows blood to enter the heart from the upper part of the body. The second vena cava is what we call the inferior vena cava. And we say it's inferior because it's coming from the lower part of our body. So that deoxygenated blood is going to enter our heart from our lower body through the inferior vena cava. Once our blood has entered the superior and inferior vena cava, it's going to meet up in our first chamber. This chamber is what we call the right atrium. Now think of the word atrium. Atrium is like a lobby. So it's the first place your blood is going to enter in the heart. Blood is then going to travel from our right atrium through this tiny opening. And this opening is what we call the AV valve. I'm going to label this as number three. AV valve. AV stands for atrioventricular. And the reason why they call it the AV valve is it's because it's between the right atrium and our next chamber here, which is called our right ventricle. So AV, atrioventricular, because it's between our right atrium and our right ventricle. So once our deoxygenated blood has entered our right ventricle, it's then going to leave through another small opening here. And this is what we call, number five, our semilunar valve. Once our deoxygenated blood has traveled through our semilunar valve, it is going to enter what we call our right and left pulmonary arteries. Now, if you're familiar with the word pulmonary, pulmonary means lungs. So at this point, our deoxygenated blood is going to leave our heart through our right and left pulmonary arteries, and it's going to travel to our actual lungs. So I'm going to label these as number six. Now, once our blood travels to the lungs, it's going to pick up oxygen. So now I'm going to switch pens to red, and I'm going to use the color red to represent oxygenated blood. So once our blood has picked up oxygen in the lungs, it's going to travel back to our heart. And again, it's going to travel back to the heart through two pathways. First, it's going to travel back through our right pulmonary veins. And again, pulmonary means lungs. And it's also going to travel through our left pulmonary veins.
Now here's the good news. Since you understand now the right side of the heart, from this point on, from our pulmonary veins, the flow of the blood through the heart is exactly the same. So this blood, our oxygenated blood, that's traveling inwards towards the heart through our right pulmonary veins and our left pulmonary veins is going to meet in this first chamber. Now, this chamber is exactly the same on the right side as it is on the left. So this chamber is what we call our left atrium. Blood is then going to travel through this small opening again, so this is number nine, our AV valve. And once it's traveled through that small opening, it's going to enter our second chamber on our left side, which is known as, this is number 10, our left ventricle. Now once it's entered our left ventricle, eventually it's going to be pumped through this last valve, which is our semilunar valve again. Now this time, our blood is going to travel a little bit differently than it did from our right side. When it traveled from our right side, we wanted to send it to our lungs to get oxygen. Now in this case, it's already had as much oxygen as it can get. So we want to send it to the body for use. So now it's going to travel through this weird structure that almost looks like a chicken head. This is what we call our aorta a really, really powerful artery that's going to send a whole bunch of blood towards our body. And that is how blood travels through our heart.